There is no place I'd rather be than on the beach with my family and my dogs. But when I can't be there in person, I like to bring the beach to me through my creative projects. So here are three of my very favorite beach DIYs. Make a message in a bottle gift, decor, or place card by using small jars that you already have, or buy a pack of tiny corked jars at a floral or craft store. You'll also need scissors, twine or cord, and paper. Cut your paper to be a bit thinner than the width of your jar. Write a sweet love note on your paper. You can't see mine. Roll it up and place inside. You can add cord or twine to secure it. Do just one or add a collection of sweet messages to a jar. How romantic. When throwing a party, write out your guests' names on a small piece of thicker paper and place inside your tiny corked bottles. Layer a nautical or 4th of July place setting and use your message in a bottle as a place card and a take-home gift at summer and coastal themed parties. For seaside wall art, you'll need sea urchin shells, air plants, an embroidery hoop or driftwood, thread, a needle, and scissors. Cut three foot long pieces of thread and thread your needle. Triple knot the ends. Push your threaded needle up from the top of your air plant and through the center, then put it through your urchin shell and push the air plant inside like this. Do this to three to five air plants and shells. Lay them and their long thread out below your driftwood at about the height that you want. Take some twine, or I have this remnant of suede cord, and make two loops. Place the driftwood through your loops and you'll use these to hang on your wall or suspend from the ceiling. Tie the thread ends to your driftwood to attach the air plant jellies and hang on your wall. Voila! You have a cool sea urchin jellyfish wall art. You could also suspend from the ceiling to create a mobile. To make a beach-worthy travel bag, you'll need a cotton or canvas stop kit and textile paint. I watered mine down a bit to make it look more like water. Unzip. Add a hard surface inside of your bag and zip it back up. Paint a repetitive wave pattern on each side and the top and sides of your bag. Set the die by ironing on the opposite side or you can lay a towel out on top. Go next level with a bag charm by piercing the tail of a plastic whale or shark or fish with a thick needle. Open a jump ring with pliers and thread it through. Open a second jump ring and add to your bag closure. Add the two and Voila! Summer beach bag or travel kit for the win. Which one of these beachy DIYs makes you feel like you are sitting in the sand and putting your feet in the ocean? Let me know which is your very favorite and what you think you're going to be trying in a comment below. And if you like any of them, give the bit a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye!